Well, we've certainly ramped up. Our WKMG hits the road coverage over the last couple of days as we prepare to take our newscast on the road to the 34756 zip code. Which includes Montverde. The community's mayor says it's unlike anywhere else in Central Florida. News 6's Mike Holfeld sits down with him to see just how true that is. Come out and visit it when it's done. It'll take about a year to put it together. Call it a glimpse of old small town America, tucked away in a place called Montverde, Florida. I've been here almost 30 years, and um, it really hasn't changed that much in 30 years. Mayor Joe Weinkoop is a member of the Montverde Town Council, managing a balanced budget like no other. So the legacy is essentially zero debt? Right, we have no debt. With a population of less than 2,000, the 34756 has defied expansion, holding on to a small town feel all built in an area the mayor calls the sweet spot. At the end of the day, it'll be finished, built, and paid for. Land sold to Lake County will cover the cost of the $1.8 million library. This is only um, two months old. In fact, any project from the new sports court to a future butterfly park already has the funding in place. A lot of thought went into all this. Everything is centralized from the post office to town hall, and you won't see homes stacked together. We're one of the few towns in the area that require two homes per acre, and uh, that's it. And you can't, you can't build more than two homes per acre. That two home per acre strategy controls the small town feel. What are the common denominators, the big concerns right now? What are people talking about? Well, just like everybody else in Lake County, I think, is uh, afraid of the growth. Lake County Fire Department is here. FHP handles law and order, and Montverde takes care of the rest. We're sitting here right now, it's absolutely it's breathtaking. Yeah. I mean, what an escape. Yeah, you, and it's this way all the time. The brick-covered path to the town hall has messages from town families and businesses. This is a place no one wants to leave. Everybody has their own lot in the cemetery. <laughs> I got mine. It's this small town feel that makes Mount Verde so special. Residents don't want to give it up. Why? Well, I think the mayor put it best, because this town is in the sweet spot. In Mount Verde, Mike Holfeld getting results, News 6. It is a beautiful place, and the interesting thing about Mount Verde is you're not going to really go through it as you're passing. Right. You, know, you have to intend to go there. And you do want to go there. Yeah. I mean, it is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, some friends of mine who've been watching this say, I want to go, I want to go. And I told them, go on a Friday or Saturday, because a lot of the restaurants that I've been covering on Florida Foodie mm -hmm. are closed on Sunday. So go there, spend the day. Go there the on day, a Friday or a Saturday. Go on a Friday or advice. Saturday, get something to eat. Willie's Barbecue is highly recommended. Oh, yeah, I hear that yes. place is good. It is so good. So we hope you will join us in Montverde when we hit the road there, broadcasting live from Kirk Park. We'll be highlighting the stories you wanted us to look into, everything from issues and concerns to success stories and all of those hidden gems. Feel free to stop by anytime that afternoon to say hello or watch our live show from 4 to 7. We hope to see you out there. Yeah, if we haven't hit your hood yet, mm -hmm. we're coming, baby. It's yeah. happening. We're going to be there. Chief Meteorologist Tom Sorrells joins us now. Have you been out there in Montverde yet? Oh, yeah, a lot. Remember, I live in western Orange County. Oh, so I know. It's yeah. not, not too far from me. I've been going a long time. I like to ride the, the Harley through there. The Tom Sickle loves it. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, the rolling hills and whatnot. It's beautiful.